iMac and M4 Mac Mini. What exactly should we expect? Well, thankfully, Wilsacom broke the internet by unboxing and testing the M4 MacBook Pro an entire month before its intended release date, which revealed a ton of information about these new M4 Macs, which perfectly match the leaks and rumors from Mark Grimman. So let's get right into it. First of all, a second Russian YouTuber unboxed the M4 MacBook Pro and showed that it's a November 2024 model, which confirms Mark Grimman's leak that the M4 Max would launch on Friday, November 1st, which means we'll likely get an end of October event. And both YouTubers ran benchmarks on the new M4 MacBook Pro, and it shows up as Mac 16, comma 1, which is one of the identifier numbers that Mark Grimman leaked from developer logs back in August. So that perfectly matches up, and there are three additional numbers, 16.2, 16.3, and 16.10. This will, of course, be the new M4 Mac Mini, the M4 iMac, and the new M4 MacBook Air, which Mark Gurman has said will be delayed until spring of 2025, just like Apple did with the previous MacBook Air, the M3 model. But the other three M4 Macs will all come at this October event, and the most interesting part is that Mark claimed that all of these Macs would have either 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, which seemed too good to be true back in August, but both of these Russian YouTubers confirmed it in their unboxing videos. So yes, the new base model M4 Mac Mini and iMac will come with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is a massive value add for those buying the base model, which honestly, most people do when they come into the Apple Store or order one on Amazon, so this is a really big deal. The YouTubers also confirmed that the new M4 MacBook Pro now comes with an additional Thunderbolt port on the right side, which the current base M3 model doesn't have. Why? Well, because the M3 chip only has two Thunderbolt controllers, so we can only support two ports, while the M4 chip now has four of them, which is why Apple added the third port on the leaked M4 MacBook Pro, which of course confirms that both the M4 iMac and the new M4 Mac Mini will now have three Thunderbolt ports, which is awesome news. And the best part is that all of this was actually leaked by Mark Gurman a while back when he talked about the new Mac Mini redesign coming with two USB-C ports on the front and three on the back, which we now know will support Thunderbolt speed. And seeing as the Mac Mini will have five ports, I assume that Apple will also give the new M4 iMac five ports as well compared to the current version, which only has four of them. Russian YouTuber Roman Sev 768 also confirmed that the new M4 MacBook Pro can now run two external displays while also using the main MacBook display, which is something that you can't do with the current M3 MacBook Pro model. You actually have to close the lid to run two external displays. Why? Well, because the M3 chip's display engine only supports two displays, while we can see that the M4 chip's die has a much larger display engine, now supporting an extra display. And that confirms that both the M4 iMac and M4 Mac Mini will now support one additional external display compared to the current models. But the weirdest thing about this M4 Mac lineup is that according to Mark Gurman, one of the four M4 Macs for some reason will be packing only eight CPU and eight GPU cores instead of the full 10 and 10 layout that the rest of them will come with. So the question is, which M4 Mac model out of the four will be getting the binned down chip and why? But first, I wanna mention the X40 Ultra robot vacuum and mop from our sponsor, Dream, which fully automates vacuuming, sweeping, and mopping, featuring their mop extend and side reach tech to clean impossible to reach corners, as well as upgraded 12,000 PAs of Vormax vacuuming suction, impressive smart cleaning strategy features like AI obstacle avoidance with LiDAR, and a fully automated self-cleaning base station, which works with 70 degree Celsius hot water and also auto dust emptying, and they're doing their best sale ever for Amazon Prime Day, so check out the link down below. Well, currently, both the base M3 iMac and base M3 MacBook Air get eight CPU and eight GPU cores. So which one of these will continue to get the bin down eight core chip, while the other one gets a big base model upgrade to 10 CPU and 10 GPU? 
At first, I was convinced that the MacBook Air would be the one getting the Band 8-core chip because it's $200 less expensive than the iMac at only $1099, and since all these Macs are getting 16 gigs of RAM, Apple needs a way to keep the price down on the cheap MacBook Air. However, there is a bit of an issue. The M4 chip added two additional E-cores for the first time, so now there are six E-cores. So with that said, why would Apple disable two of those new E-cores on the MacBook Air since you need those for battery life and getting rid of them will lower the battery life compared to the full core version. So to keep everything consistent, I now actually believe that the base M4 iMac will be the model that has eight CPU cores with the two new E cores disabled since it won't really drop the performance by too much and it won't have an impact on battery life since the iMac is a desktop machine that's always plugged in, which will overall keep the experience very consistent no matter which upgrades you choose. And this makes sense because the M4 iMac is for the consumer market, a simple all-in-one PC that you set up for your family and kids in the office to do simple things like browse the web and consume media, as well as business and school-related work. So yeah, keep in mind that the new base model M4 iMac will not be as powerful in terms of both CPU and GPU compared to the numbers that will succumb leaked, which by the way are insanely powerful, up to 23% faster for single core and up to 27% faster for multi-core, which is just nuts because it matches the performance of the full 12 core M3 Pro MacBook Pro and up to 17.4% faster in terms of graphics performance. However, there is a small chance that Apple could actually give the new Mac mini the Bend 8 core chip instead, since it's a lot less expensive and it's gonna be a lot smaller, but it's not likely since Apple has always given it the full unlock chip. We also just got our hands on some exclusive benchmarks starting with Cinebench 2024 that reveal even bigger gains than we saw in Geekbench with the leaked M4 MacBook Pro scoring a massive 44% faster than the base M3 MacBook Pro with 8 gigs of RAM, as well as beating the 11 core M3 Pro, Intel's Lunar Lake, the X Elite chip, and not being too far behind the 65 watt version of AMD's HX370. And then in terms of Cinebench 2024's single core test, the M4 scored the highest score out of any mass production chip ever made, even faster than Intel's best i9 desktop chip that clocks up to 6 gigahertz and being 23% faster than the M3 series of chips, which means awesome gains for the M4 iMac and M4 Mac Mini. And then in terms of Neural Engine AI performance and Geekbench AI's quantize test, we got our hands on those benchmarks and the M4 MacBook Pro was 57% faster than the M3 series of MacBook Pros, which means the Neural Engine has been upgraded, of course also going into the new iMac and Mac Mini. Now, as far as other updates to the M4 iMac, I wouldn't expect Apple to change anything in terms of the design or the feature set, seeing as Mark Gurman confirmed it's gonna be just a simple spec update. So you'll essentially be getting the M4 chip, another Thunderbolt port, an additional external display in terms of support, 16 gigabytes of base RAM, probably some updated colors, and my own personal prediction is that we will be getting brand new peripherals like the mouse and keyboard with USB-C ports instead of lightning. But now let's get into everything else we should expect on the new M4 Mac Mini. I think this one will be by far the most interesting Mac because it's getting a full redesign for the first time in over 14 years. Mark Gurman has said that it will now be completely overhauled, almost as small as an Apple TV, which is tiny compared to the current Mac Mini, but the amazing thing is that it will still feature an internal power brick, Ethernet, and five USB-C ports with three of them being Thunderbolt. But the biggest deal is that unlike the M4 iMac, the current Mac mini models are using M2 and M2 Pro chips, so there will be a much larger performance improvement, especially compared to the current M2 base model. In terms of single core performance, we're looking at a massive 46.3% jump from the M2 to the M4, which is gonna improve the performance of everything you do like browsing the web and making the 
the overall system feel super snappy, especially web-based apps. Now for multi-core performance, the difference is even greater with the M4 chip being 56% faster than the M2, which is once again, a massive gen over gen upgrade for the Mac mini. And get this, the base M4 model will now be 6% faster than the full 12 core unbinned M2 Pro chip in the previous best Mac mini you can get. And that one literally had eight performance cores. And especially since the base M4 now gets the same 16 gigs of RAM as that machine. And as far as graphics performance, the M4 will be 20% faster than the M2. And keep in mind that the M2 series of chips did not support hardware ray tracing. That only came with the M3. So 3D rendering artists will get an even bigger gain with the new M4 chip. So based on all of that, we're looking at an absolute powerhouse in a brand new smaller design with more ports and 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm sure it's gonna sell like hotcakes this year, even despite Apple raising the price by maybe a hundred or $200, which I personally think they'll have to do since we're getting the 16 gigs RAM at the base price. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.